So who is Sandra helping with this foundation money? Is it only the widows that are in, that are in Oka? Manigo TV. The truth of matter, or the truth in this matter is that in this life, everybody is going through something one thing or the other even i sitting here i have my issues i have things that i'm going through that is bothering me that i don't even come out here on youtube to share but there are some issues that you would see and you're like no we need to focus on this one right now and let me even leave my own because this one is very important and that is where humanity comes in our conscience as humans what makes us humans that is where it comes in yes i know a lot of people say oh reaction videos is because you guys hate you guys don't like mm -mm. our job is just to see what is going on on the street and talk about it and it might favor or not favor your face or those you like on the street but at the end of the day we would talk and it doesn't mean we hate those individuals right now there's an issue going on of a widow who needs our help her name is uj space and i shared a video in my community tab so you could go there and support her and subscribe to her channel it would really really mean a lot so that we can help her grow she can also make money from her youtube channel but uj space is a youtuber who used to be in senegal with her husband she used to support me a lot when she was in senegal i watch her videos she supports me she comes to my channel watches and leaves a comment and i support her right back and that was her. i don't know how we connected but we used to support each other until suddenly when we heard that you know her husband passed and she didn't even come on youtube to share it and people were like why didn't she come out to share it and Wendo space then you know told me about it and when do organize a live stream and you know people should support her then and you know we shared the live stream as much as we could. people came in and those that wanted to support supported her and she came down to nigeria you know buried her husband and right now she just you know passed through the morning phase a few months ago and she's you know trying to pick her life together one thing i like about this woman is because she has a fighting spirit she sells pap she fries akara she fries yam potato anything a hand finds to do she does it and she's still doing youtube and she's a mother to three children a twin a five-year-old and she has a two-year-old at hand and her husband has passed so i don't want to get emotional about this whole thing because you know may we not be victims of loss but this issue is dead to me because and it's paining me because no one deserves to lose their partner you know when you have a partner beside you you can still plan and manage you know there's a hope but when it's you doing it by yourself for three children because it just makes me remember how my mo my own mother did it by herself and it's not like her partner was not alive but she still had to do it by herself so talk more of a woman who is going through the pain of losing her partner and raising her children by herself now where sandra reality comes in all of this is i'm going to get to it so there's this youtuber bola's diary who used to be a widow she was widowed for 17 years and she's in ireland right now with her three children but luckily for bola's diary according to her when her husband passed years back she had the support of her mother who helped them come to ireland and start their life so bola you know reached out to ujv space and started taking care of her in the best of her abilities and you know according to bola she made sure that the kids were fine in december and god bless her so much at bola's diary so bola right now has found love and she's married again at 50. yes she's married she remarried and you know congratulations to her but according to bola she reached out you know to sandra reality when sandra reality said she was helping widows and she gave to sandra reality's ngo and then when she needed help as regards her youtube channel during the lockdown and she reached out to sandra there was no response from sandra now when sandra was going to receive the help as regards the ngo she responded didn't she but when it got to the point where the person said i needed your help why didn't sandra respond because if sandra did not respond Bola's diary won't have been able to give Sandra what she had for her NGO. I'm not saying for Sandra now, so you guys should not quote me wrong. Right now, Bola now told you, JV Space, that, oh, 
I reached out to Sandra to help me, but maybe because it was YouTube, so she didn't respond. But since she has an NGO that helps widow, I think you should reach out to her. Maybe her NGO can support you also. Since you're struggling a lot, you know, you're about to, you know, lose an apartment because UJ is squatting with her friend who is getting married in December and, you know, she might not have a place to stay. You know anymore so when she confided in bola bola i was like okay reach out to sandra maybe our ngo can raise something for you that could actually help you so according to uj she reached out to sandra and sandra did not reply but i bet you that i don't want to say sandra did not see that message because when bola's diary reached out to sandra to help our ngo sandra responded but why did she respond when bola requested for help now a widow reached out to Sandra. If that person did not go and say, I'm a widow, I need help. The person says, oh, my name is UJ and I want to support your foundation with the sum of one million naira. Won't Sandra respond? But a widow reached out and Sandra did not reply. I don't, I'm still saying it that, you know, initially in that live stream that Choice TV did yesterday, I said maybe Sandra did not see the message. But as I was listening further and just, you know, trying to go over it in my head, I got angry. Because Sandra was someone who came on the streets of YouTube and cried about her situation. Although, although she now later told us that she was already a millionaire, which she said with her mouth. And, she, you know, she was already a millionaire, you know. So she was just crying about the situation, not because she needed money. But she still went ahead and received help from people. It's not everyone that have people that will back them and say, okay, come and tell your story online, we'll share it. Right. So UJV reached out to Sandra and there was no response. UJ is not the first widow that have said it that she reached out to Sandra and she didn't respond. I'm not going to go ahead and call, you know, the person that has said it before that they tried to reach out to Sandra and Sandra did not respond. She is a widow also and she reached out to Sandra and Sandra did not respond. And they will say we are helping. So who is Sandra helping with this foundation money? Is it only the widows that are in, that are in Oka? Or because these people they are Igbo, so I don't want to say okay, it's because they are not Igbo, they are not Yoruba, they are not Hausas, they are not, you know. So I don't want to say it's the tribe thing. Who is Sandra really helping with the, the foundation? The Sandra John or John Sandra Foundation, who is she helping? This is not a fighting thing, this is not about hating her. But if like two widows that have said it have reached out to Sandra and she did not assist them, so who is who are the people Sandra is helping? I don't know. I don't know or it's i don't know i don't know i don't want to make it look as if i hate sandra or anything even though some people would already feel that way i don't hate her but sandra who are you helping with the widow money who are you helping with the money that people are donating to your foundation when the people that you see them on the streets of youtube and they come and cry and you cannot help them i am pained to my heart that a widow would cry out and you would ignore it's sad i may cry baby you guys can call me that but it is painful but let's move to the brighter side of things <laughs> let's move to the brighter side of things because sandra foundation that she's not god god is greater than every other thing you know so bola was able to tell um uj to reach out to choice tv because choice tv once in a while they raise help for people on their channel just come and they say people someone needs help for this and those that want to give gifts towards it so choice tv yesterday did a live stream and i think that's the best live stream for me this year because it's 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 yielded a result that is a, is going to go a long way in the life of a widow so she did it. She, they, UJ reached out to Choice and shared her story with Choice TV. And Choice was like, okay, I will talk about you. And, you know, and Choice came on that live stream. And somebody came in and gave 500K. People were giving 100,000, 50,000. And people were giving towards that cost. And it made me just realize that humanity still exists. Like, we can still survive. Humanity still exists. And they were able to raise the sum of a million. Even Choice also gave to it. She didn't say, oh, because it's my platform that did it, I'm not going to give. She and her family also decided to support the 13,000. You can go to our community tab and check out all this I'm saying because the list of people who, wanted to, who were going to help 
their names are listed there and god bless everyone that gave in that live stream and that yesterday you need to see me later on in that live stream i was fire i was just writing and writing and writing because at the point i was even mad that why would sandra respond even if you don't have money to give even if you don't want to give maybe people that support the foundation have not sent anything you could reach out and console her after all you were doing a widow series and saying you know talking about widows it's not even the widow series she was doing it's not all widows that have data to so come online and come and watch widow series but a widow reached out how about emotional support how about moral support and remind the person that i have been through this and i scaled through it and you will scale through it also that this phase you are going through is just for now why didn't she reply or she wants to say she did not see the message but i want to ask that if that message was i want to give your foundation one million would she reply or not anyways guys you can still support ujv you can go to her channel you can reach out to her you know all the monies that came in went into our account only the ones that came through paypal were the ones that choice will have to send later on and god bless choice and that's why you can't you can't hate a child of grace even in the imperfections right nobody is perfect even me sitting here a child of grace will still take the extra effort to help so even the hate and the noise, you know, they shake a child of grace. Eh, let me talk up. So, Choice TV, God bless you. UJV, this is the beginning of greater things to come in your life. Yes, God has decided to use this individual, these amazing people, these amazing people to help you. And your life is going, is going to get better. And even in your struggle, I see how neat and beautiful how your children look. May God's favor smile down on you. And Africans, okay? should do better when a widow's you know husband passes on you know when the husband passes on the way the family neglects most of the time the way the family don't support i'm not saying that is the case of uj because i don't know whatever it is with her family but i'm just saying that some families they just ignore and they don't support and they just leave it to deal with the whole thing yourself some would even say you're the one that caused it you know but anyway guys uj is, is is going to be smiling throughout this week because you guys know what a million plus is going to do in her life and you can still be a part of that by supporting her help a widow that is about to be homeless that is struggling and did not result to you know non-entity she's struggling to train her children you can go out to her channel and watch her videos and see the i watched her videos this morning and i was just seeing the caliber of life she was trying to give her children even though her husband was not is not there anymore anyway this is not to bash sandra in anything but sandra please when widows reach out to you even if there's no money in the foundation account you can still give moral support yes you can still remind them that there is God and it will get better. Yes. Anyway, guys, may we not be widows. May we not lose our partners. May, we, may our partners not lose us. May we not be victims of circumstances. May God show us all mercy. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to support, you can go to Choice TV's community and get UJ's account number. Or go to UJ's, you know, comment section and reach out to her directly and she might send her account number to you thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in another video bye for now